good morning guys so i wake up legit and then go brush have my bath like you know the whole ritual and then i have breakfast if i can <laughs> most days i end up not having it to be honest but today is what potatoes and egg and some stew on the side and then i go to class so i get off the tram and take a walk get in the hospital and i'm changing now before i enter my class i'm just going to put my time table on the side so you can see i have neonatology two powers of neonatology and so anytime you hear me say para or if you've already heard me say para like two paras of neonatology it means two classes of neonatology literally that's what we call paras here we went to see some preterm in the incubator we had to put on masks caps you know to protect them between the nipples. Your um, distal parts of the uh, thumbs should be under the straight angle to the surface of the abdomen. Not in such a way, because in this case, the force goes on the ribs and there is no there pressing on the heart. So straight angle and you make the chest compression on one third of the heights of the chest. So after this lecturer taught us what to do and how to do we started practicing on our own in another classroom no reflexes no reflexes no, doctor. no, no reflexes how you do it yourself uh, the world we see you one, one Go, Doctor Rawan, go. So after our practical skills, we had some questions to answer in class with our lecturer and, you know, discuss literally. When we're done, we go get something to eat, like grab it by its literally snack bar whatever it be just have something to eat just know this that as a medical student you always have like lunch on the go or in the hospital or in the hospital so now we're just i'm showing you my school and we are going in for a lecture the vascular surgery lecture and just to make this clear lectures are different from classes and you have the lectures where you have like a powerpoint presentation and you have a lecturer explain everything to you before you have the actual class where you are asked questions and then given marks based on your knowledge or you know how it goes um in this particular lecture hall i'm just showing you around to make you understand that we come for lectures but not necessarily to gain the knowledge every single time for example some students have already had that in class so i'm just out here writing my case history and showing you pictures and pictures of my colleagues one as well uh, so that's basically it. So after the lecture, we are going to vascular surgery, which is our fourth and last part. And you will see me in bits changing again. Another feed you. So in vascular surgery, we saw this patient and they were carrying out tests in her and I can show you like the things we saw, but I can't show you the patient. So please bear with me. Thank you. We measure the junction fraction. We measure the blood flow on a each valve. Is it high or low? Is it, uh, 
those numbers which we learn when we learn the Valvas disease. Uh, it's very great that we haven't any thrombus inside the left ventricle. What does it mean? That we can perform the revascularization in this patient mm -hmm. and after that we'll decide if we must implant the permanent pacemaker mm -hmm. and remove the temporary yeah, the cord, cord Okay, you see the <coughs> valve regurgitation on this. This is a blue one. Yeah. yeah? Is the first stage of organing. You know that it's uh, not a big problem, but uh, it's made a problem of. So this is another patient with another scheme, <laughs> literally of atherosclerosis and what what what. It literally means cholesterol in your arteries like building up. Um, so we would be watching a cardioangiography and. I have put in a small picture, you could rewind to go check that out, of what the OR looks like, because I couldn't go in. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we understand, if we have the, what we have, the fixed, yeah, 3.5, it's a 9 atmospheres. So this is my group mate who could go in because he had his scrubs with him, but I didn't. So some pictures for end of class <laughs> before we move. Open up. So guys, done with classes. Well. Let's see what we can achieve today, you know, like the rest of today, basically. <sighs> How y'all doing? <laughs> so it was what, four, some minutes after four before vascular surgery released us. And then I went home, made some wigs. <laughs> Cause yeah, that's what I do. And then now it's six. I'm at the gym and let's kick some ass. So an hour and 30 minutes later, I'm done and I'm going home. Made some smoothies. This is spinach, apple, banana, yogurt, and kiwi. Yeah. Having a shower now. And then after the shower, I read for two hours if I can. Or an hour at least because I need to prepare for the next day of school. Uh, I just want you guys to know that not every day is the same. Some days I'll stay home cooking and making wigs only. Some days I'll be editing videos for you guys. Some days, you know, I'll be in church or something. So that's just how my day goes. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Support. Mm. Ah, it's a good one. It's true. I feel like she's not in the baby skin. One, two, three. Like, easy, easy, easy. One, two, three. Two, one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>